When trouble comes, servants run, but sons stand still and declare the Father's will. Live in this right here. God gave me this years ago. When trouble comes, servants run, but sons stand still and declare the Father's will. We ought to live in that. If you're willing to live in that, then it doesn't matter whether, whether he's using you as in the prophetic or whether he's using you to be a counselor to somebody for a moment or whether he, I believe that God gives according to Ephesians 4, I have to believe it because we read it in Ephesians 4, that he has given people individual gifts and offices and jobs to do in the earth. I have to believe that we just read it, right? But I also believe that he's interested in availability, not ability. And if he's interested in availability, then you, if you make yourself available, then God just might use you in, to be an apostle for three months <laughs> and build something. See, that's different thinking than how we have been told. If God wants to use you to build something because he can't find the builder who's supposed to be building it, who he called to be an apostle, then he might use you if you're available. You got to be okay with that. Does that make sense? It's about availability. It's not, oh, no, you can't do that because you're not an ordained apostle. Ah, shut up. Do you, know the, do you know not one that I know of, not one of the disciples were school trained? Not one of them went to cemetery, I mean seminary. Not one. Do you know that they talked bad about them because they, Peter and them, they were from Galilee, and they knew that they were unlearned. That's what it says, right? Unlearned men. So what made the difference? Who made the difference? Holy Spirit. Same Holy Spirit you have today. I believe in being educated. I believe in educating yourself. I believe in understanding as much as you can understand. I believe in getting all the training that you can get, but at the end of the day, it is Holy Spirit that will help you to know how you are to go forward, what you are to do, what you are not to do. Okay, run, son, run, run, run. Okay, stop. All right, back up two steps, but God, back up two steps. Just trust me. Okay, turn and go that way. It's him. At the end of the day, it's him. And if you trust in your riches or you trust in your education, I'm telling you, it's just not going to, you're going to have a frustrating time because every time Holy Spirit tries to get you to do something beyond yourself, you will question it because it doesn't match your education. Education's good. Don't rely on it. Does that make sense? Live in this right here. This is where everybody needs to be living. Oh, my God, so much right now because here's the thing about trouble. You can't get around it. Ever notice that as saved as you are, as born again as you are right now, trouble still comes? Anybody? Anybody? Trouble still comes? As much as you pray, trouble, yeah? I'm talking to the right people. Trouble. As much as you declare the word, trouble still comes, Right? And yet you're not in the hand of the enemy anymore. So how is that? Because trouble matures. <laughs> trouble matures. Trouble identifies who you really are and what you really believe. And if you dare to walk with Jesus, Jesus said himself, he said, you, I'm paraphrasing, you want to walk with me? Come on, let's go get in trouble. <laughs> we think it's tiptoe through the tulips, la, 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 la. Well, my favorite is holding hands and singing, kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya, no. You have some of that. But God's called you to an adventurous life. God's called you to be the one that when nobody else is around and nobody else knows what to do, that you are around and you know what to do and you get it done. Only way you're going to do that is if you stop being a servant and become a son, become a daughter. Stop being a servant. In January 2001, the Lord began to deal with me about ownership. 
And this is what he said. He said, take ownership of me the way I, I, I want to take ownership of you. Take ownership of God. My God. We say it all the time. Do you really mean it? My God, my God, my God, my God. Moving on. 